Well, how's everybody out there doing today? Glad to have you in with us as we're getting set to do a special show today. We do special shows every day, it seems like. All of our shows are special, which means nothing is special, right? No, um, we're doing a show today on winterizing your hair and a lot of the, especially the ladies out there, but look, we're not just leaving it to the ladies. I got a producer with hair longer than Rapunzel's. Uh, we are going to talk to you about hair today and how to take care of that hair. Ladies and guys and everybody else as I knock stuff over here, uh, it's all going to be beneficial. But first, we have to make a t-shirt winner. That's what we always do at the beginning of a show. And our t-shirt winners, all they had to do to win was just share this newscast, share this video, and then that's it. And we're making a winner right now. And the winner is Adam Lee Wheelis. Adam, congratulations. And thank you so very much for liking and sharing our product. We've seen you do it many more times than just one. And we're grateful for every single person who clicks every single like and every single share helps us so much. Here comes the news. Hang on, everybody. It's four o'clock in Harrisburg, where a murder was reported to have taken place on Thursday and an arrest has been made today. A woman in custody and we'll tell you all we know. It's not much more than that, but we will tell you the names coming up. Plus a murder in Newport and a man charged with two counts of capital murder. A case of shooting at a pig in Craighead County. How did that ended up in the hands of police. Plus, the county judge of Craighead County will not seek re-election, we found out late yesterday. Also talking to you about the weather as it's getting set to warm up a little bit this weekend. And hey, that's good news, right? And we're gonna tell you how to protect your hair, right? It's been cold all week, cold for the month. But you gotta watch out for those flowing locks. The details next on NEA Report. It's gonna be a special day. Here we go. reporting. The news begins tonight with a Harrisburg woman arrested for murder. The story breaking just this afternoon. Kayana Boland, 21 of Harrisburg, under arrest and accused of murdering Julian S. Daniels, 23 of Harrisburg. The murder is uh, alleged to have taken place on Thursday. The Jonesboro Sun uh, broke this story on their Facebook page, which is a great place to check for local news. Arkansas State Police made the release uh, as to the arrest that took place. A man in Newport is facing two charges of capital murder, alleged to have killed his pregnant wife, taking both her life and the unborn fetuses. It was released by Henry Boyce yesterday, the details, saying that the man, Ricky Don Crawford, 40 of Newport, uh, has been charged with two counts of capital murder. It's alleged that on November uh, 11th, Crawford, well, it's not alleged, but on November 11th, Crawford's wife, Amanda, was found dead. Now, it is alleged that Crawford is responsible for that. The wife was pregnant and the fetus also was lost, netting Crawford two capital murder charges. We'll be following this story to keep you up to date with the latest. Some breaking news this afternoon in the form of the dicamba ban we told you about that was being considered. Well, it's been approved. Legislative Council approved the recommendation to implement the dicamba ban, and as of today, the ban is now law. That means from April 16th to October 31st, dicamba is going to be prohibited in Arkansas, although there are some exceptions, and presumably, as we've gone over those before, those who are qualifying for such will already know. If not, do your research and you'll find out. In 2019, we know that Craighead County will get a new county judge. The reason we know this is because on Thursday on Facebook, it was announced by the current county judge, Ed Hill, that he will not seek re-election for the upcoming election. We found this out, as mentioned, late Thursday when County Judge Ed Hill made the announcement. Here's what he said. He said this election season will be on us fairly soon and that he just wanted to let us know after thinking long and hard over the past few months that Hill decided not to run for the office of county judge. Hill said he's going to serve out his current term ending December 31st. But he said he stayed long enough to check off many of the things that he had set out to do, especially the wrongs he had hoped to right during his initial campaign. Hill said, quote, I'm proud of the work we've done and will continue to do on behalf of Craighead County during my service to the citizens. It also mentioned in the post that Hill's looking at other options related to elected office, and he mentioned he will keep us posted on those options as they develop. 
Well, here's a report that sounds just like it's straight out of Arkansas. A woman called the cops after she said that her pet pig had been shot at by the neighbors. It's a little bit more complicated, according to the neighbors, however. It began with a woman contacting Craighead County Sheriff's Department on the 18th uh, to let them know that her neighbors shot at her pig. She said she heard four shots and the pig cry out, and around that time she looked outside and said that she saw that the neighbor's nephew was uh, running from the tree line, a young boy, she said. Well, police were called, Craighead County Sheriff's Office to be exact, and they came out and spoke with everyone, including the complainant and the neighbor. When they talked to the neighbor, the neighbor said that the pig had been on her property, but had been on her property for months, causing damage. She claimed that she tried to inform the woman who called the police that I guess it would be the pig's owner. It wasn't really certain per the report, though, if the animal was struck or if they were able to find it, because it stated that I was told that they were unsure if the animal had been struck. Uh, that's according to uh, Deputy Brandon Hollis of the Craighead County Sheriff's Office. Uh, nonetheless, it looks like it was reported to be information only. It doesn't look like that any charges uh, came from the incident. And hopefully, the pig's okay. Your National Weather Service forecast from New Wave Wireless shows us to be entering a really warm-up phase for this weekend. But what is going to happen next week? We're going to see those temperatures begin uh, to drop a little bit. But thankfully, the highs are going to be staying into the lower 50s. So it's going to actually feel kind of more like spring, I think, than it is uh, winter. But that works based on what this week was like, okay? Uh, tonight, increasing clouds with a low down to 35 degrees. On Saturday, mostly cloudy with a high near 49. Saturday night, a 30% chance for some showers with mostly cloudy skies and a low around 47. For your Sunday, you have a better chance for some showers, and thunderstorms are possible Sunday afternoon, too. In fact, we'll be watching those very closely. Mostly cloudy skies. They're saying now the high is only going to jump up to about 58. That was lowered yesterday when we came at you. They said we were looking at 60s. Uh, that shows you what the temperatures can do in just the course of 24 hours on a forecast. It's just guessing, right? Uh, but educatedly so. Sunday night, showers and maybe even a thunderstorm with a low around 49. And south winds about 15 miles per hour. You could see up to three quarters of an inch of rain in Jonesboro. But you have a high chance for seeing rain pretty much all hours of the evening evening. Monday, a 20% chance for some showers and mostly sunny skies. Otherwise, with a high near 54, but it's going to be a slightly windy day, up to 15 mile per hour winds, and the same Monday night with mostly clear skies and a low around 33. But your Tuesday's just sunny with a high near 48 and a low about 31. As you skip ahead the next several days in the forecast, it's just about a carbon copy of what Tuesday looks like through Wednesday and Thursday as well. The forecast brought to you by New Wave Wireless, home of the $49 iPhone screen repair. Now a little bit of a preview of what you're going to see in the news tomorrow. It's a big event that's going to be happening in Jonesboro, and at 2.30 tomorrow, everyone's going to dive in. It's the Polar Plunge we're talking about. It happens every year, and this Saturday in Jonesboro, from 12 until 5, the uh, festivities will be going on. They're going to be happening at the Elks Lodge at uh, 2113 West Washington Avenue in Jonesboro. It happens every year as a way to raise money for Special Olympics, and it does, really, it's all over the United States, but this is for Special Olympics Arkansas, so it's, the money's being used right here at home. Participants have to be at least 12 years of age and raise a minimum of $50 per person, but also have fun. Here's how you do it. If you want to get involved, register at 12. The silent live auctions begin at 12.30 p.m., and the Polar Plunge itself is at 2.30 p.m. with the award ceremony to conclude the event. You can find more information on Facebook where there is a full event that has all kinds of details. There's already a ton of people going. There's over 100 people going, it says so far. So plenty of y'all will know where to find it. Just type in Polar Plunge 2018 and uh, search in Jonesboro to find that. Well, coming up after the break, we're going to tell you how to save your hair from the cold elements. Even though it's been a little bit warmer here the last day or so, and next week it's not going to be quite into the lower teens as of yet. We're not through with winter yet. And so when the next blast of cold air comes through, what can you do to make sure that your hair doesn't suffer from it more than anything? Well, we'll have an expert or two or maybe more coming up. It's in studio next, and it's on NEA Report, so hang around. Are you or one of your loved ones in a nursing home? Spending four, five, or six thousand dollars per month for specialized care? You may be able to preserve most of your remaining net worth if you act now. 
Seniors who are wartime veterans may be eligible for immediate benefit. Protect yourself from all of these uncertainties. Call today for a free consultation. You have questions, the Oldham Law Firm has answers. Family Medical Clinic of Walnut Ridge and Bono are your neighborhood health care providers, and we're now accepting new patients. We know you have a tight schedule, so we're here six days a week at both locations from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Walk-ins are welcome. In Walnut Ridge, stop by 1045 West Main Street or call us to make an appointment, 886-8300. In Bono, we're on Highway 63 North or call 930-9990. Walnut Ridge Family Medical Clinic and Bono Family Medical Clinic, here for you when you need us. We had a website that we had had for a number of years. It had become unwieldy to navigate. Ace One said, give me a little time and I'll come up with something and just see what you think about it. It blew us away. Ace One and his staff have given such close personal attention and outstanding customer service just as if we were a million dollar company. I just can't say enough good things about them. So we spent this week and really last week too talking a whole lot about the cold weather, winter weather, hitting us all across Northeast Arkansas. But have you thought about what the winter weather does to your hair? As a matter of fact, it's one of the topics we're going to be addressing today with Buddy Sharp. Thanks for coming in studio, sir. Oh, you're very welcome, Stan. Thanks for having me. We're this glad is, to have you This in. is nice to be here. I like your studio. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. We like having you in here today. And, Thank you. Uh, you know, I'm going to get everybody introduced to you first because uh, we're going to be talking a lot about hair. We've actually got a little hair right here so you know what it looks like in case you forgot. Um, but, you know, I know a lot of people are thinking, well, okay, tell us about Buddy Sharp. He's He's got to have an interest in hair. He's got to be an expert, right? Oh, I got to be something. <laughs> Uh, it's a who, passion for you, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's a question I haven't been asked before. Yeah, who is okay. Buddy Sharp? Mm -hmm. uh, Buddy Sharp is a 40-year stylist in Dallas, Texas. Um, I traveled the United States and Europe over my career, mm -hmm. learning as much as I can from the different stylists in the different countries that I've been to. And what I do in Dallas is I'm a special, special situation stylist. Okay. And what I do is... I take people with troubled hair and I make them have beautiful hair. Nice. With Oh, absolutely. And some of the, the best things that I've been able to do is people who have lost their hair. I can work with them to get their hair back. Ladies who have had situations with uh, premature shedding, I've been able to work with them to get that back. And I've been able to find a product line that is now a partner because I tell everybody now. Now, I can call you Stan, right? You absolutely can okay. call me Stan. All right, That's Stan. probably the kindest thing you can call me. <laughs> but I uh, have figured over the years that the, the best way to have a successful female client mm -hmm. is, A, to have that experience, is you've got to have the client, obviously. Then you've got to have a stylist with a skill set mm -hmm. that is able to interpret and deliver their thoughts. And then we have to have a product line that is going to take care of that hair. It's almost like hair insurance. Sure. Because okay. when ladies leave the salon, we really don't know what is going on. Mm -hmm. But when we've been able to introduce a, a quality product system to them, I know that when they come back, my job is going to be um, exponentially easier. Makes sense. It's, it makes a lot of sense. Um, a lot of times when, before, over the last couple of years, mm -hmm. I've been introduced to, like I said, to products and different cutting and styling and even like with the hair extensions that I use, the different techniques. We've been able to do so much to encourage not only the, the growth of the hair, but also for the thickness of the hair Oh wow! and for the health of the hair. And that's the main thing because I remember reading a survey in Cosmopolitan Magazine and they ask, the question was, what is the most important accessory that you have. And of the 105,000 women that answered this survey, over 98% said their hair. That's overwhelming. And now that is, that's, that's a pretty good one. Cause, um, I was telling a friend of mine over, in, uh, I was in Charlotte, North Carolina last weekend. Mm -hmm. And I told her, I said, if you've got your designer gown, you're dripping in Tiffany diamonds and you got your Tondeo heels, but your hair looks like hammered horse crap. You are not going. Yeah. You are not going to the event. Yeah. Now let's say, all right. Okay. You got that special, thick, beautiful ponytail. Mm -hmm. 
you got on your favorite jeans and boots and you got your Arkansas Razorback jersey, go Hogs. Or Red Wolves. Or, oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Red Wolves. <laughs> okay. Go Red Wolves. Yeah. All right. And then you're feeling it. You, you've got the look that you want. And so now you're going to go. So it's not always what you're wearing, but how your hair is making you feel so pretty. And that's, that's what I've spent the last 40 years developing those experiences. So you have an expertise in hair, but you have a passion for hair and hair care. And that has kind of moved you in this direction in life, it seems like. Maybe the driving force behind what you do. Well, one of the driving forces is, after 40 years of standing behind that chair, mm -hmm. my body's kind of breaking down a little bit. <laughs> you know, you take two, three steps, and then you want to, you know, take a nap. Yeah. Is it, it like when I st uh, stand up out of this chair, it'll sound like somebody popping their knuckles? Is that what it's like? <laughs> it yeah. sounds like bubble paper. <laughs> <laughs> but but this has been uh, a change for you in life because you, you took yourself from what would be a very safe place and you right. left your comfort zone. I definitely left my comfort zone. Uh, I was able to sell my salon okay. and concentrate more on exactly what I like to do. And what I like to do is to teach people how to take care of what they're only given a limited amount of, and that's hair. Sure. Okay. And so with the product line that I have moved into, mm -hmm. it's called Monate. Okay. And it's a botanical-based product system that starts with the shampoo, the conditioner, the leave-in, all the modifiers, and every one of them are based around essential oils. And essential oils are here on this earth. They're not man-made, so there's not going to be the the toxin effect that mm -hmm. we've had in our traditional products. Now, there's a lot of good products out there, and there's a lot of products that just really aren't. Sure. But with all the issues that we go through, Monate is the only one I know that handles all those issues. And just to, uh, just to name a couple, um, we've got the bulb growth system. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. We have got free radical issues in the new growth, and everybody that shampoos or anybody that goes to the salons and get their hair colored and all you ladies out there know that sometimes you're going to get hot roots. And those hot roots are because, boy, did you hear the puberty kick in there? Uh. Oh, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> it's because, yeah, that was good. And so it's because that you're going to have uh, those free radicals going through. So we also have something that's anti-aging. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to have what goes on. And not, you mind if I point no, at the please, screen Please, go right ahead. All right. Because in this area right through here, you'll notice that even in this photo, that's touched up, you're going to see breakage in the mid shaft. Mm -hmm. And what happens when that is, it's just dehydration. And that is what's leading us into today is how to winterize your hair. I'm looking forward to this discussion too, because I, I just happened to mention it as kind of a talking, uh, just in passing in the office. And all of the girls in the office started asking, oh, wait a minute, can we come over there? Can we come over and see this happen? And I said, wait a minute, we got to have some people in the office today. <laughs> well, I would love to take 100% credit for winterizing hair, but I've got a very dear friend of mine who's a dermatologist in Dallas, and he was in getting his hair done. And I said, okay, during the winter months, what is some of the issues that your patients are coming in and they're asking you, okay, what is going on with my skin? What is going on with my hair? And he there's actually a medical term for it, but since I don't want to try to remember it, I just call it mid-shaft breakage. <laughs> All right? So what it is, it's is when your, your natural oils will mm -hmm. only penetrate four inches. So if you've got hair that is down to here, mm -hmm. your first four inches are going to get your natural nutrition of your natural oils. Okay. But from here down, you kind of on the hind side. It's on your own. You're on your own. Okay. So you're going to have to feed it. Feed it. And so what happens is when you nourish your hair daily, daily. you're going to inhibit the splitting ends and the mid-shaft breakage. And mm -hmm. so what that translates to is your ponytail goes from being this big at the scalp to this big on oh. the ends. And, I mean, it does. Your hair will dissipate in density That's as it incredible. grows down. And it's, it's horrible. Yeah. It's a horrible thing. And since, Especially you know, when you spent years on this hair to exactly. get it so beautiful and long. And then all of a sudden it comes down here and looks like a cat's been sucking on it, right? <laughs> yeah, we, we just ain't liking that. If it's my cat, he's 30 pounds. <laughs> there's hair going out of the roots at that there's point. A lot. <laughs> but for us guys, we don't see that because we very seldom ever let our hair get more than just a couple inches long. Sure, sure. That makes but for sense. women, it's everything. And if they've got that thick mane of hair, it's the bomb. And these products... 
like I said, they handle the dermal issues, they handle the, the mid-shaft breakage, and they also make our colors because the largest part of the people on this planet, females, you're going to process your hair. You're sure. going to have your highlights. You're going to have your lowlights. You're going to have uh, your Brazilian treatments. You're going to have extensions. And with that, you've created another set of issues. Mm -hmm. Well, Mon 8 is the only product line I have ever seen that addresses every issue that I had as a stylist. And so with that being said, you want to you wanna show some folks how we winterize hair? I would love to show some folks. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, and I was going to tell you how Dr. Dave's client, uh, Dr. David Hensley over in Arkansas, sure, okay? Sure, One of his clients came in and said, can you please teach me how to winterize my hair? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, he didn't know. Yeah. I don't know. I do. You do. Uh, uh, You've got the info I for got us, the huh? info. You're going to give it to us? I'm going to give it to you right now. Okay. And I want to introduce. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I brought a really good friend of mine who is a master stylist um, over in Truman, Arkansas. Okay. Um, his name is Darren Hellams, and he's going to show you and tell you just how you can winterize your hair. Okay. All right. Fantastic. And We're going to let Darren take over then, I guess, huh? Cut it up. All right. Well, All Darren. Right. Thank you, guys. Um, what we're going to do a little bit here is this is your client with processed hair. And what Buddy was talking about with your oils only hitting the first four inches of your hair, which when your hair is oily, you notice it up at the top. But what we're, and a lot of women are not doing is taking care of the rest of the hair. So what we end up seeing is dry, damaged hair that's breaking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a couple tips of how to winterize and take care of this long processed hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Monet Restore leave-in conditioner. I'm just going to use two pumps, just a little shot of blowout cream. And I'm going to rub this together, a little shot of water, make a little cocktail here. And the key thing is, I'm just going to take her hair up. I don't want to grab it. I just want to barely, I just want to comb it through. Let, you, let the product off, come off your hands. Let it work. And what I'm going to do is just focus on the primarily on the bottoms of her hair, mids to bottoms. And I'm just going to work this through. Once I get all of this product into her hair, We have it on the, probably can't see what I'm doing. I'm going to hit it right here. Like I said, mids to ends is what I'm working through. Okay. And I'm not grabbing, I'm not forcefully pulling on the hair. I'm just letting it work. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to grab my comb. And I'm just going to kind of work it through the bottom. And she has beautiful hair, I have to mention, by the way. She does. Very beautiful hair. So I'm going to get that worked in there. I already have my tools heated up. And what I want to show you guys, is I'm just going to take just a section of the hair. You women that are flat ironing your hair, you don't want to hold heat in one spot for too long. We don't want to create any kind of damage with our tools. We're trying to make our hair look better, not damage it further. So what I'm going to do is work it in through the hair, get the comb, just pass it through. And I don't know if you can see this, but we have just a little bit of steam coming off her hair. And what this does is Monet actually that is beautiful. Penetrates, penetrates the hair shaft. And what you're going to have is that oil inside the hair shaft is pushing out the excess moisture in the hair. So the steam that you're seeing is the excess moisture and we're putting the oils into the hair to create a... It's kind of a barrier, if you will, yeah. isn't it? Like it's, it's, cause I can see the steam coming off and it's, it's, you know, I would imagine that's one of those processes that's pretty normally damaging to hair. Absolutely. So the essential, so the essential oils, and I want to touch on this for just a moment is a lot of things are branded as a heat protectant. Right. And it is really, the product is trying to um, shield, the, shield the hair from the other product lines that you might be using. Where Monet, you don't have to do that. The essential oils in the product are actually going to 
protect the hair. Every product that you have has the essential oils in it, so every product that you use is actually going to act as a heat treatment. So your curlings, your flat irons, your blow drying, your daily exposure is all taken care of because of the oils in the product. So all the products have these different essential oils in them and that regular usage daily and daily for long periods of time, what will that do? What you're going to have is healthier, stronger hair with each use. Wow. You're going to... Works beautiful. Works beautifully. Yes. So as it continues, and we'll come back here to, uh, uh, to us over here, we'll actually do the full shot because we're all in the studio today. Um, her hair looks gorgeous, but I've watched y'all apply this to a couple of different staff members here, and it changes the way the hair looks almost immediately. Well, because what happens is the hair has to be proper moisture balance, mm -hmm. and it has to be proper protein balance okay. in order for the hair shaft to work correctly. And then when it's got proper moisture balance, and what Darren was doing was applying that moisture and with the essential oils that are in the Monate, and mm -hmm. when those essential oils penetrate the cuticle layer, what they do is they basically coagulate or mm -hmm. they form a chain and what moisture is needed is retained and what moisture is not is forced out because excess water in your hair, as our good friend James over here can tell you yes. with the long curls, <laughs> is when you have too much water in your hair, it's going to be frizzy because it's expanded the hair shaft. Ooh. So it's not that your hair is dry and damaged as it is that there's just too much moisture in the hair. And what the Monate essential oils will do, <clears throat> excuse me, is eliminate and inhibit it from having too much. And that's where you're going to get your shine. That's where you're going to get your volume. And that's also where you're going to be able to get that. It's like Darren touched on. You're going to get that exponential nourishment that is going to stay in your hair from day to day to day. And with... We're going to explain something here in a little bit, so yeah, and it's I, going to I'm get just fun. kind of watching them as he's yeah. he's working on the hair back there. Oh, he's tearing it up. I like watching and, that, Darren. Yes, sir. Where or what is the name of the salon you work in? Uh, I am located at in Truman, Arkansas, at J4 Salon. Okay, J4 Salon. J4 Salon. J4. So you got to stop in and see Darren there in J4 Salon. Yeah, J4 Salon. I like that. I like that too. Yeah, okay. Now we got some other folks in here with us because we wanted to show uh, all different types of. Uh, types of work that this could do? Oh, absolutely, because we, uh, I, I specifically brought people into the uh, studio with us today. Yeah. And once again, thank you guys so much for letting us come over here. Mm -hmm. um, ha having I, my connection with Northeast Arkansas is I grew up in Arkansas. Okay. And I moved to Dallas back in the, <laughs> and, but I always like coming home. Mm -hmm. And to be able to come over here and speak with you lovely people about hair is just that much better for me. Sure. And so Let's here we are. In in I love to, to come back home. And awesome. hopefully we can do this more than just once. Oh, I plan on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. And so what we want to do is I brought in different generational models. Okay. Because some people have processed hair. Okay. Uh, a lot of our younger teens, and we're going to bring Zoe in and let you see her hair, but with the younger people, they tend not to have the processing, so their nourishment needs are a little different. But with Monate, we're able to address the needs of multi-generational clients. That's awesome. Yeah. So Let's... that's one of the things that we decided to do today and so well i'll tell you what let's uh let's do this let's get the studio set up and uh let's go after another model and show you what this stuff can do how's that sound all right let's do it uh, so our next model up on uh, the set right now is zoe and she has uh joined us here to i guess we're going to demonstrate how this stuff works on all different hair types aren't we absolutely all right let's take all a look right. um so we have natural, non-process, no color, what we call virgin hair. And what I'm gonna do is show you how to eliminate frizz and breakage in one step. I'm going back to my restore leave-in conditioner. Again, just two pumps, a little bit of water. And what we're gonna do, same thing as the last model, is focus on mids to ends. Again, focusing on trying to nourish and feed the hair mids to ends. So I'm going to work it in just as I did last time. 
So what does the water do? The water is just acting as an emulsifier for the product. Just to, the product is based with the natural oils. So what this pro, what this water is allowing me to do mm -hmm. is make it go a little bit farther and oh. help me manage the hair a little better. Beautiful. That's so beautiful. What I'm gonna do is just get it in here, and I'm just gonna lightly brush it. Again, this is something that you're going to do at home at night before you go to bed. So it's hard for me not to turn around get... and start watching because her hair looks so smooth as you're putting this through her hair. It's like, oh my gosh, is this real? It is. What is so cool about this is as he's spreading it through her hair, mm -hmm. it is actually conditioning her hair because we want the hair to be nourished, but you don't have to shampoo it every day. Your hair does not get the buildup of debris as fast as it dehydrates. Ooh. So about every other day, every third day is perfect to shampoo your hair, especially long hair. Yeah. Because then you don't have to blow dry it. Does that include guys too? It includes guys too. Guys with long hair, you don't have to shampoo it every day, but you do need to feed it every day. He looked at you, James. Yeah, I looked right at you, BJ. <laughs> All right, and so now at night, if you just take, like Darren was saying, you take a little bit of that money, restore, leave in conditioner, mm -hmm. a little bit of water, rub it in your hands and that, activates those essential oils and just rub it through the ends and you press it you don't agitate you just press and then go to bed because these oils are going to mimic your own natural oils you wake up the next morning you can curl it you can flat iron you can do whatever you want and you're good to go that's incredible it we're is. on set here today as we're uh, teaching you how to winterize your hair we've been through how winterizing your home we've been through how to winterize your driveway get ready for your pets but we didn't even talk about ourselves in that hair. whole thing hair yes. And and once we started talking to some of our uh, friends about how winterizing hair works, well, we started to get a huge amount of interest. So we decided, you know what, maybe before we get through winter completely, we should tell people how to save their hair. Exactly. It, it makes sense, doesn't and it? this is what we're doing here. Let's show some more close-ups here of Darren and uh, Zoe as they really are doing a transformative job over there. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to throw a few curls in here and give you a few helpful tips on how to do it. Okay, Tradi traditionally, everybody pretty much styles their hair differently. Everybody uses their tools differently. But we've seen people roll hair horizontally. We've seen vertically. But what you're really wanting to do to get those California long styled curls is actually have your curling iron at an angle, not horizontal, not vertical, at an angle. And what this is going to do, and you're probably thinking he's putting a restore leaving conditioner and he's going to curl it, it's not going to hold, but I'm going to teach you right here. What I'm doing is holding this right at an angle. I'm not vertical, I'm not horizontal. I'm going to let that heat hit. And what we're going for Jeez. is a beach. Oh my beach gosh. Right now. now that's beautiful. I don't want really tight. And it, the product's amazing. The product's going to do everything that you want it to do. This is the curl I was wanting to use. So if you're into horizontal, vertical, tight curls, big curls, the product is going to work regardless. I would just like to show that tip because I believe with my clients that I'm putting, do the curls on, the horizontal iron, holding your iron, excuse me, at a horizontal is actually a more flattering curl. Me personally, as a stylist, I think. Okay. See, we're learning things here. That's Always what I like. Iron. You are coachable. I try to be. You are. I try to be. You could have been a hairdresser. I, I needed more hair on my own head before well, I could do that. Yeah, that helps. I'm losing a little on the back. Well, I was losing mine. Can you help me? I was, before I leave today, I will tell you how to grow your hair back. That's because great. I was, I was. I was losing my hair. That and means we don't have to worry about the shine on the back of my head anymore, James. It's Stop really messing with the lights now. It's an effect. I'm loving this, the way the curls are, are starting to, to show. I'm, I, can, Zoe, can you turn your head a little just in that direction so we can see some of those? That is just, it's beautiful. Because no other product line out there, no other product line that I know of, will allow you to apply a moisturizer to dry hair and then instantly go back with a hot tooled iron, like a flat iron or a curling iron. But since this product is so evolutionary mm -hmm. in its design that it's going to allow you it, it's a time saver 
So now you wake up in the morning, you don't have time to shampoo and blow dry your hair. Mm -hmm. You don't have time to condition it. But what you can do with this is you apply a little bit to the areas that you're going to apply the heat. And then the next thing you know, you've got that beautiful, soft, silky, shiny curl that every woman wants and every teenager wants. And so tonight, when she goes off to homecoming with that hair, they're going to wonder, okay, who did that? Well, you just tell them I did, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and as you noticed on the last one, what I was talking a little bit about is not having to put a heat protectant on. And as you noticed, I did not prep our hair. You've seen exactly what I put on there. I put the Restore Leave-In Conditioner and curled right over the top of it. That's no, there's no heat treatment. I did not spray any kind of heat treatment. The Monate product did it with the essential oils in the product. So mark that as another product that you don't have to put in your bathroom. Making it cleaner in the bathroom. Oh, clutter gone. The clutter gone. Clutter gone. Yeah. The hair is going to be easier to take care of. Yeah. This is incredible. I'm yeah. enjoying this. Now, of course, my hair is naturally curly. Okay, well, what... With, Cut it all off? No, no, no. Oh. With Monet, what, what you are going to find with this product system, and especially great for a stylist who have a plethora of clients with different hair textures, different hair densities, mm -hmm. length, curl pattern, straight, curly, wavy, kinky. What, what you find is they all have a certain common denominator, and that's moisture. Mm -hmm. And with the essential oils, it's going to encourage moisture balance in everybody's hair. So if you've got long curly hair, there is a system for you. If you've got short curly hair, there is a system for you. If you've got long straight hair, there is a system that you're going to want to use. And all of those are easily explained. And I just love the products. I think it's they okay. work so beautifully on every type of hair, and especially if you've got extension hair, mm -hmm. which is a pretty common. It's common. It, it's common application anymore, mm -hmm. and we we are seeing more and more from Hollywood, from Nashville, all of our musicians, all of our actresses, and a lot of the guys are wearing hair extensions, mm -hmm. and so they are external. There's no nutrition source getting to them whatsoever. Monate, and this I'm gonna have to tell you is. As far as I know, there is not a product that will actually penetrate into extension hair cuticle like Monet does and encourage hydration to hair that's applied externally. And the same thing with human hair wigs. These products are designed to encourage that hair. Now, I've even someone was telling me does it make your wig hair grow mm. <laughs> well if it did that it'd be some it, kind it, of other product different. yeah yeah radioactive but what it does is it maintains the the um, integrity of hair and so you're you process it you take care of it you add it in you take care of it you have curly hair you now have softer curls and you will also find with your processing your colors they're more vibrant and beautiful her hair is just transforming right before our very eyes. I mean, she came in with beautiful long straight hair, and now it's it's these California curls are starting to show up. Oh, they're taking off. off. Yeah. They're taking off. That's what we're, we've got over here on the screen, the big screen kind of behind us. Uh, uh, you can go ahead and point at it one more time if you'd like. There we go. We're turning. It's right here. You can see back when I was Darren's age, mm -hmm. all right, this was called a drop crown curl. Okay. Right? Because it's smooth through the crown, and then it just casually starts to wave into a curl pattern. Okay. All right. Well, then over the last several years, it's been commonly called the uh, California curls. Mm -hmm. and, but it's just beautiful because the, the young people today or uh, the baby, not the baby boomers, but the Gen Xers and your millennials mm -hmm. and then even the teens, they don't want all of that big volume on top of their head. Mm -hmm. They want all that volume at the perimeter. Makes and sense. That's, that's what Monate does. Is it gives you the ability to keep this part of your hair healthy and shiny. That's important. That's the best part. That is the best part. But that's the part that needs the help the most. Uh, well, it is. It's the most dehydrated part of her hair. Makes sense. Yeah. So we brought some more models too. We do. We yeah. Have, oh, now this model right here, she's very special. Okay. Uh, I started doing hair in 1978, and this was my first victim. Let's call it that. <laughs> And this is my sister Martha. Okay. So, so we're going to get to meet Martha here in just a moment. Get to meet Martha. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. Stand by. 
So we've got Martha on set right now as we're continuing to learn more about winterizing your hair. And I'm talking about it's the perfect time of the year. If you haven't figured it out, now is the time to know. And so now we're going to see a little bit more about what uh, we can see done with, uh, with her hair. Okay, so the two previous models were long, longer-haired models. Mm -hmm. And you're, they're lacking that nutrition at the bottom. We've already covered that. Short-haired clients, your hair is going to naturally be healthier because of the oils can reach almost the full length of the hair. You're going to want to shampoo, but when you don't shampoo, we're going to go for a dry shampoo. And what we're going to do is pick up the hair with this dry shampoo. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is kind of just... And there's the volume. Oh, look. Right. Well, right's an aggressive word. I'm going to... I'm going to pick with my hands, and I'm going to section his hair up, and there is no talc in this. This is a rice additive, so this oh. is healthy and an alternative. There is no talc in it, so you can't, don't be scared of it. It's actually a really healthy product. That's given uh, Drive Shampoo a bad name, and as a matter of fact, talc powders had some negative news about it as well, so learning about the uh, rice additive instead. It's a beautiful alternative, and also it's infused with the essential oils. So, and it's water-based. So when you shampoo your hair, all of this product is going to rinse out. That's important. So you don't get the buildup. And the buildup is what causes all the flatness. It's what causes the dullness. And I always kind of uh, equate it to if you're looking at your hair through a window that has a window tint on it, mm -hmm. it's going to be dull. But if you're looking, through, looking at your hair through a window with the natural sunshine coming through, it's so bright and vibrant. Right. That's the difference. So if we can get everybody to understand if we get rid of the buildup your scalp's going to be healthier your hair's going to look better and you're going to have a better situation for growth oh nice just incredible and so for the clients that are you're using a great line it's all very good for you. Hmm. you 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 want to use it you want to use all of it but what you don't really want to do is when you get you have a life you don't want to wash your hair 24 7 every day right so this is going to give you that extra life out of your hair give you that volume as you as you can see out of martha's hair when i sprayed and just kind of gently lifted with my hands nothing aggressive at all she had i'd raised the volume of the hair just with this product so you're alleviating alleviating a shampoo process bath time shower time and spritzing the dry shampoo and then you're gone and have your volume and shine. And one of the other really cool things about with the Monet in the entire system, their flagship product is called the Rejuvenique Oil, and mm -hmm. it is the 11 oils that are harvested around the planet for their specific nurturing abilities for the hair and the skin. And Martha was telling me earlier today what she does with the essential oil, and that's why I said, hey, Martha, won't you tell me what, or tell all of these nice folks about the, the rejuvenic oil on your skin? Well, the, like you say, it, it just um, goes in just a certain, a little bit. But if you use it every day, it will help. I'm sorry, I am, to a certain age, I worry about age spots. You can put it on your age spots. It helps to dissolve them, for lack of a better word. Wow. And you can use it on your skin if you're going to be the younger people go to the tanning beds and we worry about that kind of thing but if you use this it will soften your skin if you wear sandals in the summer it will help with those unsightly heels <laughs> that you, okay we all know about it. we do and uh the, and it's just wonderful for your cuticles for your eyebrows for everything it just makes everything very very smooth yes. not oily and it you smells don't have right. to worry about, you know, putting it on right away and then dropping your coffee cup. You know, <laughs> that sort of thing. <laughs> I, love that. I know what that's like. You know, <laughs> sometimes you get this stuff on in your skin. It's like, oh, what yeah. did I do? Now, Grab oil? This, this isn't. It just makes it silky. This, these essential oils penetrate the skin and the hair because they mimic the hair and skin's natural oil. So it is compatible. Other traditional products that we've been using over the years, what they do is they're topical. They're just going to lay there, and they, they don't absorb, but they just basically evaporate. Uh -huh. all right? And with this, it's going to absorb in almost instantly. And so you're not going to drop your coffee cup. 
and my wife puts it on under her makeup. It is a, I don't know what you call that, a primer, a prepper, or... Primer. And it's not too oily for and that? No, because it absorbs, it leaves your skin clean. That's insane. And it's so nice and soft. Um, it, it's just a beautiful product. This is really a unique, and unique. As a, as a stylist, as a non-stylist, it's a beautiful product that we can share with everybody. And so I'm... I'm sure that everybody would like to know now how to yeah, get a hold of it. I'm sure that's the big question. And Aunt Mott, or, why don't you go ahead and give them your information? <laughs> okay. Well, my name is Martha Grobner. I live now, I've retired from Dallas, and I live in Arkansas, my home state. And I, like I said, I'm a market partner, market mentor in this wonderful company. And if you are interested, I have a phone number. I have an email address that we can post online mm -hmm. and you can contact me and I've got all of the stylists like our sweet Darren here mm. and we can we can get you as Buddy would say, we can get you hooked up with all these wonderful products. And so what we will do is make sure that everybody has easy access to that information in this video description. If you just mm -hmm. scroll down, uh, you'll be able to find the email address and the phone number that she mentioned, as well as other useful links. Uh, because we want to make it simple now that everybody's seen how easy it is to take care of their hair. It's got to be easy to get signed up and get involved. Oh, it is. And the entire state of Arkansas is going to have beautiful hair. And... Uh... Go Hogs. That's right. And Red and Wolves. Rose, and Red Wolves. I keep forgetting that. Well, you've got a niece that goes to college <laughs> yeah. here. <laughs> My well, they, granddaughter is. Yeah. So let me ask you, what happens, uh, just now that we go into the interview section, <laughs> what happens if the Hogs and the Red Wolves play? What are you going to do then? Man, I'm, I'm not going to go. <laughs> because I've got a niece at uh, U of A, and I've got a niece here at uh, in Jonesboro. So I would have to sit in the corner by myself. Conflict of interest? A total conflict of interest, because somebody's going to be mad at me one way or the other. You, so couldn't you, Uncle Buddy ain't going to show what up. What if you cheer for everybody? Does that even make sense? I'll let you roll with that one. Okay. That's okay. generally what I do, is I try yeah. to cheer for everyone, and when somebody else gets mad, then I cheer louder for them. <laughs> it eventually gets to the point where my voice dies, and I just sit there and shrug. Uh, no, wonderful. Glad to have you in today. Oh, it's great. Your hair. Um, it's a wonderful product. It's called Monate, and we're proud to, uh, proud to have you in, sir. Thank you very much, Thank and you. I'm proud to be over here, and we will be back. We absolutely look forward the, to that. Hopefully all of you will have us back. Yes, we would love to, and we hope that uh, for those of you out there that have watched, you've enjoyed. Maybe you have uh, had some questions and would like to get in touch with uh, some of the different members that you've talked to here, the team members. And Yeah, I'm, you can always uh, private message me on Facebook, mm -hmm. Buddy Sharp. You're well, a Facebook guy. You're all over Facebook. I love Facebook. So that's and perfect That was just audience. one of the things that I didn't know anything about, but my daughter and my wife convinced me that it's a good way to use it as a platform sure. to open my big mouth and let people <laughs> hear what I got to say. Well, it worked well for my big mouth. Yeah, so. it does. <laughs> but I think you can probably private message anybody that you've seen today from right. Rebecca to Martha to Darren. And if you need hair work done over here, Darren is an awesome stylist. You guys would love to visit with him. So anyway. All right. Fantastic. It's fantastic to have had you in studio with us. Darren, thanks so much. I know that you. you've been thanks back there me. doing the hard work. We appreciate you and we appreciate you, sir. Thanks so much. Thank you, my man. All right. It's NEA Report. Glad to have you in with us today. And uh, we invite you to join us back again on Monday with more news from Northeast Arkansas. 4 p.m. is when we will be broadcasting to you on Monday. And so don't forget, between now and then, you can like this newscast and share it for a chance to win one of our fabulous T-shirts that you can pick up from Ace One Technologies. And, of course, we will be back anytime breaking news breaks out. That's when NEA Report breaks in. I'm Stan Morris. Have a good weekend.